What's up y'all? Welcome back to another episode of MJC The Outdoorsman, the channel that's all about doing awesome stuff while experiencing everything that the great outdoors has to offer. Hope you're ready for another amazing video. Sit back, relax, and let's adventure. Today, I'm bringing you guys another cooking episode. Told you I was gonna give you a little bit of a break. Uh, who knew a little bit of a break would have been like two videos. <laughs> I just have not had a chance to get out and fish again, and I'm really trying to get out this week. However, Mother Nature's kind of stopping me with a bunch of rain later in the week, and I just thought, you know what, I've got to film some stuff so I don't run out of content for you guys, and this is just the perfect way to do it. Today, we are going to be making a very simple campfire meal. It's so simple that all you really need is some ground beef and a can of sandwich. Now, for this recipe, you'll need one can of Mamwich mix for every one pound of ground beef. Just a little bit of fair warning in case your camping trip is going to involve you making four to five pounds of ground beef, you'll need to make sure you have four to five cans of Mamwich so that way everything evens out proportionately. I originally found a bunch of other Sloppy Joe recipes that were somewhat medium level and then all the way up to like the most complicated thing in the world to make on a campfire, and I said, yeah, I'm gonna go with the simplest way I possibly can so that way it's the easiest way for people to follow along and anybody can just go get this stuff sometimes people aren't gonna have time to go out and buy 20 to 30 different ingredients just to make really good gourmet campfire sloppy joes this is like the best way possible in my opinion so the first thing that we're gonna need to do is obviously like always get the fire going usually with the campfires I would actually be doing this with wood like we have always done in the past. However, tonight we're doing it a different way with charcoal. One, I don't have enough firewood ready to go for this. And two, we're kind of getting into those times of year where the sun goes down a lot earlier than normal. on the charcoal to really burn and turn white because that's when it's at its hottest and really ready to cook on we are gonna get the ground beef ready to go probably should have got a mixing bowl because i was gonna just put a little bit of garlic powder into the whole thing but we're just going to put the garlic powder into the skillet on top of the ground beef. I want to make sure that's all nice and coated. I really have never had an issue with food sticking to a cast iron skillet, but I don't want to test not spraying it with Pam and then have everything stick. So I'm going to take this out little by little. It's kind of a little frozen still, so it's going to take a little bit longer to cook than it normally would, but I want to make sure it's cooked all the way through regardless. Try to break this up as best as I can. Grab some paper towels so I can throw a little bit of garlic in here. Let me do it with this hand. I think that is enough garlic in there. And I believe the coals are just about ready to go. So the coals aren't completely white. As you can see around sort of the outside edges of them, they are white and they're still black in the center, but there is a little bit of a flame going in there. You can see the red hot portions of it. So I'm going to grab the cast iron skillet, get it over here and get that beef on these coals and let the beef browning process begin. So this is where we're at so far on the ground beef. We're almost completely browned. I just want to make sure some of the frozen bits that were still in the ground beef when I put it in the pan are completely, you know, thawed out and cooked through. Soon as that's all done, I'm going to try my best to drain the grease while not losing a ton of the beef. And then we're going to get it back on the fire and get the can of Mamwich mixed all in. But things are moving along. The meat is browned. And just gonna get it off here for now. There's actually not as much grease in here as I thought there was, and I'm throwing it all over the table. Lovely. Gonna get this can of Mamwich all opened up, and hopefully this can opener works because the last time I used it, it didn't. So if it doesn't, we're gonna, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna scream and then try to figure out a way to get this stuff open. 
and this is going to be fun. This is going to be absolutely wonderful. I think before doing this episode, I should have figured out whether or not this stuff was broken. And the funny thing is, this actually fell apart a couple of months ago. Can't really eat Sloppy Joes without the mix. Is this doing something, or is it just being stupid? This is lovely. I'm going to go inside and see if we got another can opener somewhere. Okay, after a little bit of fussing around, I was able to finally get the top of the can open. So we're just going to pour this all in here and hope I get it all out. A little bit of using this can opener and healing back with my hands, I was able to do a different way to get the lid open like that and just peel it back and not cut myself. And it worked out pretty good. So I'm going to mix this around in here kind of running out of daylight too so trying to get this done we're gonna throw this back on the fire for probably another five to ten minutes and then as soon as that is done we're gonna go grab some shredded cheddar cheese and we are going to throw that on top of this and let that melt for about one to two minutes while that is still sitting on the fire Everything has been back on the fire for probably about five minutes right now. Things are looking amazing. I think that is almost done. If I go any longer, I might end up burning it. So at this point, I'm gonna grab some of the sharp cheddar cheese and get that laid on top. So I'm actually gonna take this off of the fire so I can lay the layer of cheese down. And let me try to fix this light better. I, I'm just gonna do it like this. Didn't want to waste any more time by going in and grabbing all of the lighting equipment, so my phone is going to be the best thing that we can use right now. Let's get that all evened out into one thin, well not thin, but just one even layer in the pan. And then let's get moving along. We want that layered all on top. Sorry about the radio noise in the back. Listening to a little bit of sports talk radio while making some awesome food. That is just a great combination in my opinion. Seems like I'm using a lot of cheese, but like this recipe calls for sliced cheese. We don't have that here. And I would probably big slices do about maybe six, three and three. So this does make sense to do it like this. I wanna cover everything as best as I can. That is good. We're gonna throw this back on the fire, let that all melt, and we will be almost done. I've actually got some Kaiser rolls over here. I'm gonna grab one of the grill grates out, and as soon as this is all done melting, I'm gonna take this inside so it doesn't get eaten up by the bugs, and we're gonna get some of these rolls all toasted. While we wait for that to melt, we're actually gonna get this grill grate that I just pulled out of the grill all foiled up. I'm gonna figure out how to do this light somehow. This is so difficult. Why didn't I just go and grab the damn actual lighting setup? I don't know. This, this is great. I hope you guys can sort of see me. This might work a tiny bit, but it's probably not working at all. I will learn in the future not to do this again and to actually get a lighting setup. I would do this where I would place the bread right on the coals, but one, this isn't a natural fire. This was started with lighter fluid, so I really don't want lighter fluid on the bun. And also, I don't know how my family's gonna feel about a little bit of charcoal on the bread itself, so we're just gonna do it the smart way and use a grill grate. I've actually gotta go grab a knife and check on the meat, but when I come back, we're gonna get these sliced up, put on here, and that looks absolutely amazing. Not all of the cheese melted on top, but I wanted to get it off of that fire so that way it wouldn't completely overcook and start to burn. But I'm gonna put that inside right now, go grab the knife, and then we're gonna get back to slicing up these rolls and getting those over the open flame. Got the knife, and we're only gonna do four for right now, because I don't know how many people are actually gonna eat. If they want any more, we'll figure out a way to toast the rest of them. People will probably just go end up grabbing rolls regardless and not even really care if they're toasted or not. I just want the first batch to be toasted. And only four are gonna fit on here anyway, so that works out perfectly. Gonna take these over to the fire, set them down in the coals, let them toast for probably about no more than two minutes. 
I'm gonna set a timer actually on my phone and then we'll be all ready to go. Already had the timer on for three minutes, but just put on another three minutes because I went and checked the rolls and they hadn't even started to brown yet on the underside. So I'm hoping that six minutes does the trick. We're making progress, but another three minutes on the clock. So we're hoping nine minutes toasties. We're kind of getting to the end where the coals are cooling down and these coals really don't last as long as I would like them to. So it kind of sucks when you're an hour into cooking with this charcoal and it starts to die off and doesn't give off as much heat as it was. Plus the grate is not directly on the coals like the cast iron skillet was. It's kind of raised up probably about five inches. So that also has a little bit of an effect too. Cheese has had a little bit more of an opportunity to melt. Uh, that is what the final product of the Sloppy Joe's looks like in the skillet. And then here is the final product of the buns. They didn't toast as dark as I would have liked to, but they do have that crisp to them. I love the look. It's time to get this on plates, just like that. There is the finished Sloppy Joe. Took a little bit of a taste of the mix before I filmed this, and that meat and the garlic and the cheese combination. That is amazing. It tastes so good. I cannot wait to dig in fully. Just gonna add some chips to my plate and everybody else's as a little bit of a side dish and a way to scoop up all of the meat that falls off of the bun. Sloppy Joe's for a reason, because it's such a mess. But it's time to dig in and enjoy this campfire meal. Some time has passed, precisely almost two and a half hours, kind of watching one of my favorite TV shows. But I was also waiting for my mom to get home because she got home late. And with these videos, I like to get everybody's opinion. Obviously, I don't film everyone. I just tell you what they said. But I wanted to make sure that she had the chance to eat the meal before I finished out this video. Let me just say right now, the reviews are in. Everybody loved it. There wasn't a ton of meat because we only had a pound of beef. Next time, I know to make double, maybe even triple because everybody loves to have two to three sloppy joes at a time especially because we only make the sloppy joes and then we add chips as a side we don't do like a full meal like I did with the fish where it was the fish and the vegetable and rice or potatoes and with that right there today's adventure has officially come to an end thank you all so much for watching it is greatly appreciated if you enjoyed this video smash that like button head down below and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. It means the world to me when you guys subscribe to this channel. Also, while you're down there, do not forget to turn on the bell once you have subscribed, so that way you get notified every single time that I upload a brand new episode to this channel. Leave your comments down below as well, whether it be about this video or maybe you have got a video suggestion for me to do on this channel in the future. Winter is coming up, my friends. And I really need video ideas other than survival camping and ice fishing. <laughs> if you could share this channel with your family and friends, all of that would be greatly appreciated. I'll see you guys on the next one. Keep adventuring.